Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real-world ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 33 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a shelf, and we have this ratio, right? The relationship between science and math is 4 to 3. So it's going to be 4 science to 3 math, because that's the order in which they gave you uh, the word science and math is 4 to 3. So we got 36 science books. How many math books are there? All right, so let's, let's do this kind of uh, a slow, old-fashioned way, and then I will show you a quick way. So... I'm going to end up drawing two shelves, just uh, for visual purposes, even though it says one shelf. All right, so science to math is four to three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chunk of four science books, and I'm going to put a chunk of three math books, and I'm going to label them. So here's my math books, and here are my science books. So this kind of represents my, my ratio, four science to 3 math. I'm looking for 36 science. I need this to get to 36. Okay, so let's just add another 4. And then I can add another 3 because what you want to do is every time you add 4 science, you need to add the 3 math to kind of keep it going. So I could do like this. I can go on and on and on. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, you know what, 4, 8, 12, right? I could just keep adding 4s. Let's go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and then here's my 36, right? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because 9 groups of 4 make 36. So since I've got 9 sets of science, I need to figure out, on my math, I need to get 9 sets, right? So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine. Now, just to make sure that they're proportional here, let's line them up one to one. Every four needs to map to one three, even though they didn't end up the same size. Okay, so how many math books do I got? Well, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Because I've got nine sets of three, that's going to get me 27 math books. Now, some of you saw already when I did this, even on this original drawing, I set it up like this and I did four, and I knew I had to get to 36, right? And then I did three, and I didn't know what I needed to get to, right? You probably saw, you know what, I just need, I just need nine sets of that. If I get nine sets of four, that gets me to 36. Therefore, I would need nine sets of the three to get me, and then we ended up with 27, right? So that's, that's one way to set it up. And sometimes what we could do is we can end up setting it up without even the pictures. We can say science to math. So four science is proportional to three math. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for 36 science, right? And I'm needing my missing math. So my options there is I could cross multiply, right? I could do four times something equals 36 times three and figure out what that is. Or I could just think, well, how do I get from four to 36 multiplied by nine multiplied by nine? There's many different ways to solve this proportion once you set it up correctly. Either way, our answer is going to be C, 27.